be talking to you guys about my TSW journey. If you want, you should probably go watch my eczema video first, but if you haven't, that's okay. It's perfectly fine. So let us start off with January. Now January was a very interesting month for me. It was kind of my first month acknowledging uh, the TSW. I went to some doctors during that time in which they all said to me the same thing, which was use more steroids. My mother did not react very kindly to people saying that. So yeah, uh, but I did find some doctors afterwards, a couple months later, I found these two doctors. One, she helps me with my pills and checks my skin just in case. Another one is a naturopath and he gives me more medicine and some drops that is good for like uh, detox, stuff like that. So that was basically my January. February. My very first day of February, I cried because it was the first day of school that I missed. I hated the fact that I missed the first day of school because it meant that I would not get the seating plan that I wanted and I would have to sit next to some random. Luckily, when I went back though, uh, there were seats saved for me because people love me. I turned off social media because I was quite envious of people going back to their first day of school and I just couldn't stand how bad I felt knowing that I didn't look the way that I used to because I used to love, I used to love myself, which sounds a little bit conceited, but self-love, people preach it. So yeah, so February was basically um, no school, uh, no social media, no sleep and mentally drained. That was my February hell, in other words. In March, I was still exhausted, still not getting any sleep. I hated going to sleep. It was the bane of my existence. Every time my parents would be like, oh, it's time to go to sleep, I would go crazy on the inside, not on the outside. I don't, I don't throw tantrums anymore. I'm not like five. So yeah, I basically spent most of March not sleeping. I spent most of it just kind of lying in self-pity and I requested for no family members to come over because I did not want anybody to see me except for my mom, my dad and my brother. So that was March. Then we have April. April was still exhausted both mentally and physically. I still couldn't move. My whole body was kind of just locked. It was locked. You can't bend a single limb. I couldn't even turn my neck. I had to just turn my whole body with my neck, which was not that good. It was, it's tiring. I will tell you that. But there was something good that came out of April, which was the dead sea salt baths. The dead sea salt baths. Oh my gosh. It was so relaxing. Basically, this, this pretend this is a bathtub. This is kind of like the opening, okay? This is me here. I would have a table laying from here to here, a table with my phone and my drink. And I would be able to just sit there for 15 minutes to half an hour, just lying there and watching my favorite show and drinking, um, drinking soft drinks, not alcohol. And um, that was basically my April. It was good, but it was also very bad. May, May was my birthday month. I went to go see Multiverse of Madness, um, which is kind of a tradition that I do. Every year on my birthday, I go watch the new Marvel movie because there's always a Marvel movie that comes out in May and I will always go watch it for my birthday. So on the first day of May, I found out that I was allergic to gluten, vanilla, turmeric, pomegranate, and pumpkin. Now, I don't like turmeric. I don't like pumpkin. I don't even think I've tried pomegranate in my life. Vanilla broke my heart. Gluten absolutely shattered my heart. So my birthday cake had been ordered way before that. So I had to watch people eat my birthday cake in front of me on my birthday. I'm trying to be dramatic here, but actually I didn't care. I was just eating chips. I, I didn't even like the cake that they had gotten for me, which sounds a little bit bad, but I just don't like cherries. So yeah, so that was May. 
June. June, I went back to school. My first day of school was, mm, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I was still trying to adapt to this new routine of going to school. And I think that I found some comfort in my friends because I hadn't seen them in so long. Of course, I saw some people that I didn't want to see, but you know, you live and you forget, isn't you? No. Anyways, so basically my first day of school was okay, but I felt incredibly insecure because I knew that people would be wondering like, where did I even go? I didn't tell anybody about my condition. I'm pretty sure some of my friends don't even know what my condition is. I only told a couple of people that I felt really comfortable talking about it with because I don't know, I at the time I just felt like it was something that sh shouldn't be talked about and I didn't really want to talk about it. But now I feel like I'm more comfortable with talking about it, which is good. I feel like that's like character development that we need. The progress is the progress is there. Uh after June it's July. July was good, August was good. Near the end of September it was not so good. I had a really really bad flare-up and I had to stop school again so that wasn't that good October was still flared up and stuff like that I missed Halloween now it's November and I think I'm feeling better but it's still so stiff my neck I actually cannot turn my neck without bringing part of my body with me so there's that my arms are like much better now I think yeah my my legs are okay but they're like the back of my legs like the folds it's still quite bad it's like kind of hard to bend them in the morning so i'm i'm trying to work on that and i know that the tsw isn't gonna just go away magically by next month i i don't expect it to but i do hope that eventually it goes away and i'll be free but, you know, you just have to give it time. I have spent 11 months in TSW and I hate it but love it at the same time. It's like I have a love-hate relationship with it and I'm perfectly fine with that. I think that there is always kind of a love-hate relationship with things that you don't want to go through. But you kind of know you have to go through it, which is what I think. During the TSW, my mom always tells me, she's told me this since like the day I was born. I think she even told me this when she when I was in the womb. But she always told me, everything happens for a reason. And I totally believe that. Everything happens for a reason. I didn't go through this for nothing. I definitely came out of this with a lesson. Which is what the point of it was. The point of my eczema, the point of my skin issues, the point of TSW has all led down to the one lesson that I've learned, which is patience, which is knowing that I have to be at my worst to actually realize how much I love myself, how much self-love I have, you know? I, I hated myself at the start of it, but over time I realized just how much I loved myself at the same time, how much I'm willing to sacrifice in order for my skin to look good, in order for my health to be my top priority. So my whole TSW journey has just has been leading to this whole lesson. And I'm sure that as I keep going through TSW, I'm going to learn more and I'm going to experience more. And I'm kind of excited, but at the same time, I'm not excited. It's, it's how difficult my emotions are. I'm literally so indecisive, but I'm happy. And I feel like I'm going to be okay. And I know I'm going to be okay. And my TSW journey is something that I know other people can probably relate to. You know, these feelings don't just go away so quickly. It's something that kind of sticks with you for a while, if not your whole life. So that is my TSW journey. And I hope that you guys enjoyed listening to me talk for almost 10 minutes or more. If you want, like, comment and subscribe. If you don't want to, perfectly fine. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.